Hey Taurus, this is an X rating. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Not ready yet. And um, let's get this thing started. This is a general read, so it will not resonate for everyone. Um, I wish that it could, but, you know, I really would love to reach the people that really need to hear the message, you know, the most, or, you know, really going through something. And that is really what I aim to do, because I can't reach everybody, of course. Everybody's not going through the same exact things, okay? So let's go ahead and see. We're going to do something different. Um, we're going to start off with some Romance Angels cards, okay? So first one we have is, it is safe for you to love, okay? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Um, maybe a lot of you have been shielded, you know, trying to protect yourself. And sometimes when you've been hurt or you've been through things, you know, that's that's really what you aim to do is protect yourself from being hurt again. So, I mean, I definitely get that. The next one is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond, your bond deepens, okay? And really and truly, that is the only way that you can progress, is I know if you've been hurt and you're trying to hold on to yourself, but if you're really wanting love and, and wanting to allow love in, then that, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to allow yourself to be vulnerable. That is what love is, being vulnerable. It's hard, though, when you've been hurt. It truly is. And then we have make the effort here, okay? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right? Okay. Now let's go ahead and see what's going on. Pull some tarot and um, see what other messages we get. But, you know, that right there really says it all in a lot. Okay, let's see where you're coming from. Full of worry. Um, full of what ifs. You know, what if I reach out to this person or allow myself to extend to this person and they hurt me? You know, that is where you are coming from. But um, it is safe for you to love. God is saying it's safe for you to open up. Okay? And then the person that you're dealing with, um, th there is stability with this person. There is something stable with this person. I feel like not only are they someone that you can really and truly have something with, but I feel like this person's very grounded. They have possibly um, just started a new business too, I feel. And I feel like they have a lot to offer. I really, really do. I just get that feeling. Okay. Now let's see what where you guys are right now. Um, there's something there's something relating to this individual I feel that you guys have realized um, I feel like there is there is something that you also want to share there's something you want to share there's something you have realized here I feel like you want to you you possibly want to start over again and I think that you want to start fresh and new, though. You don't really want to talk about things that have already happened, um, possibly the things that broke you guys up. You just want to start like you guys have just started dating or something, something like that. Hmm. This other person is, is happy. This is the ultimate um, happiness. This is stability within a home. Um... Possibly, they have just started a new relationship. Possibly. Um, hmm. That may be why, another reason why you are like all in your head thinking about maybe it's too late. Maybe, you know, if I offer something to them that they're not going to accept it because this nine of swords is like just ruminating thoughts things that you're thinking about over and over and over again that you cannot get out your head um, maybe you know about this person you know 
starting a new relationship because it does fall under getting to know each other. Um, and this could very well be what they are thinking about you and wanting with you. Okay, it could go several different ways here. Let's see what you guys want. You want the strength. I feel like you want the strength to... If there's something that you want to present to this person, if there's something that you want to say to this person, if there is something tangible, like solid, that that you want to offer this person, you want the strength to be able to do so, is what I feel. I feel like you're trying to... You're trying to get your stability. You're trying to get your nerve up, even, for some of you um, to address this person. Okay, the Ace of Wands wanted to flip here. Um, I, I strongly feel that a lot of you want to start over. You just want to start fresh and new. And as I say that, out comes a fool for the other person. They want to start fresh and new. They want to start over again. Hmm. I'm still not sure of if it's actually Taurus that this person wants to start over with or whether they are just like starting over, you know, in their in their own, you know, life separate here. Let's see what, what you need to do. I'm going to pull some clarifiers here as well because I'm not going to leave it like that. I feel like what you need to do is get your emotions in balance. Um, temperance is not here, but I feel like if you feel this strong connection, if you feel this strong love towards this person, I'm going to show you guys these cards right right now, how they're falling. I feel like there's a need for you to at least try, if that's what you are feeling in your heart. Because this is how these cards are falling. Do you see that? Make the effort. Do you see the children in that card? Okay. Look at this card. Same children. Maybe a little bit older. But I feel like you guys have this connection that is undeniable. Great love, it says, is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. God is steering you. And for those of you who this is resonating with, I know you feel it. Okay, look at this. I know you feel it. You have to. So, even if I feel that um, if this is somebody who you have just gotten wind that they are dating someone possibly I think for your own for your own peace of mind um, if you haven't told them exactly how you feel maybe this is a good time to at least if things are left on a, on a bad note to at least reconcile your differences so that that person knows that um, you don't dislike them or um, you don't have any feelings for them. I think it's, it's basically time to clear the air is what I'm getting here. Clear the air between the two of you, okay? If nothing else. Look at this. Under the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Wands communicate communication. This is Cupid's, Cupid's arrows as well, okay? There's, it's time to communicate that. Even if you don't tell them you want to get back with them, just to clear the air and if there's any tension between the two of you to remove that, okay? Let's see what they need. King of Pentacles. Hmm. If that does not say it all. This is you, Taurus. This is you. Male or female, this is you. I feel like you guys are... I feel like you guys are... And this is so cliche. But I feel like you are meant to be. I truly do. 
the only card here that's that's not good is you worrying this nine of swords but you know how to get rid of that worry right okay we just talked about that no need to um, be redundant all right let's see what the outcome for you guys is something wanted to flip there let's see what the outcome for you is I see marriage here here you go Taurus I see strong solid commitment here okay I see you want to offer this I feel like um, you may feel it's a little too late I feel like there is possibly an apology that needs to be made um, because this is also you offering an apology something something that is needed okay something that you realized here maybe you don't need to offer an apology maybe it's the other person I'm not really sure because only you know your own situations and what actually transpired that brought you guys to this point um, but I see a strong solid commitment here very possibly marriage that it leads to and this person is going to be unsure because I feel like they're going to want to protect their heart but I feel like at the end of the day they will make the decision that they feel is right for them I think it's going to be all in your approach possibly um, and that d does make me feel that maybe there is someone that is actually involved I don't think it's like really serious though but I'm going to see um, if the person that Taurus is dealing with is actually in a relationship. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Please show me. Please show me. Why is the Ten of Cups here? I think this is just um, this is just them feeling happy in their home. This is probably somebody that has children, could possibly have your children. Um, don't have to be that way. They could just be a single parent, but I think they are being fulfilled in other areas in their life um, here. Okay? Because look what we have here. Now we have you guys as a couple here okay let's see what it is that they've started with this ace of pentacles what has Taurus's ex started what have they began to do what is this ace of pentacles for please show me please show me what this ace of pentacles is for for Taurus show me Three of Cups. I think this is a new them, actually. I feel like this person is coming into their own. And I feel like they're also, um, this person probably is engaged in something where they are helping people. Um, they are interacting with people. They are interacting with their children, um, their friends, their family, and I feel like uh, they're just at a very happy point in their life. And I feel like that's something that you guys are sharing energetically, and um, and that's what I feel. So, my Taurus friends, that is what I have for you for the third through the ninth, and I will speak with you soon. All right.